Hello friends, my name is Anil and I'm here to talk to you about the confusion which most students come and talk to me about. Should we focus more on 12th? Should we take 11th seriously? When do we start preparing for the entrance examination? Uh, nearly every day I get 20 emails, some 45 WhatsApp messages asking the same question. So I thought I should talk to you today so that this thing is cleared for you and for everybody so that you know which path to take. Whether it is 12th, when do you study 12th? How much marks should you get? Why should you get this marks? You know, so in this video, we're going to discuss all of this. When should you take 12th seriously? When should you focus on the entrance examination? And uh, at what point, how much should you learn in 12th? How much should you leave in 12th, etc. So it's also now important to ask this one question to yourself. Why did you take the subject and uh, what is your whole aim after the marks? See, if you do not begin with the end in mind, then you're just going to beat the dead horse. You will study, 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 study to get some marks, 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 marks and marks and then you don't know what to do. So 12th marks lena hai kya? Yeah, entrance mein marks lena hai. Some people are working so hard with the 12th that they may even get a 95 out of 100 in a physics. But then getting a 95 out of 100 in a physics in the 12th standard, in the theory examination, how is it helping you? Do you have a plan for it? If yes, then focus on that. If not, then come to entrance examination. You have to make this yourself very clear that do you want great marks in 12th? Do you want great marks in CET? Do you want it in both is your weak point? You have to be very clear. Some people write to me, sir, I'm not very sure whether I should take PCM or PCP and they're right now in the 12th standard August month and they're studying PCMB. Waste of time. If you don't know why you are doing what you are doing, it is such a big waste of time. So focus your time. First of all, understand for yourself what is that you want. Then narrow down to that and then focus your entire time on that so that you have extra time to spend on what you really want to do. 12th standard is about steps, it's about method, it's about formula, it's about bulky answers, it's about exact definitions as mentioned in the textbook. So definitely, here time will be more, your investment would be more in terms of time, in terms of effort, in terms of all these parameters. Whereas CET is about accuracy, it's about approximation, it's about speed, it's about time. So in CET, in your entrance, so I'm going to call CET for all the entrance examinations put together, be it JE, NEET, be it uh, AI, AAA, whatever you have, AI, PMT, whatever examination you're giving, I'm going to call it as CET. Cool. So in the CET, it's a race against time. It's going to be approximation. It's going to be quick concepts. Matlab, you should see the question and say, this is the answer. Then when you look at the option, you would say, yes, this is the answer. You know, it's about speed. It's about accuracy. It's about approximation. Whereas in the 12th standard, it's about, you know, bulky and long answers and steps and char mark a question. Rahega. Even if your something is right, you may get a half mark. Whereas in CET, it is black and white. It's black or white. It's marks or no marks unless there's negative marking. So here I'm going to tell you how to get marks in 11th and 12th theory paper. Okay, so step one, you should have in your mind how many subjects you have. Simple, that's extremely simple. Physics, chemistry, bio, maths or physics, chemistry, maths. Then you should know ki physics mein kitna chapters hai. Then you should know har chapter ka kitna subdivisions hai, right? Now, when you look at a 12th standard physics book, you will know, or a 12th standard maths book, you will know what is that you know, what is that you don't know, and what is that you thoda know? This is clear? Okay. Now what is that you know, just leave it aside and you don't have to invest more time on it. Now what is that you don't know, you have to make a choice whether you want to know it or you don't want to know it for 12th standard theoretical point of view. Okay, now you also have to have a goal clear that in 12, how much marks do you want? Do you want a 60 out of 100? Do you want a 70 out of 100? Do you want an 80 out of 100? Once you decide this, you plan a method for it and only work for that. Now in 12th standard, you also have the liberty of omitting some chapters because of the marking scheme that you have. Okay, you can omit some chapters and still get a 75 or an 80 out of 100. So that establishes ground and confirms your position because you're getting an 80% in PCM, right? So that now you can use your entire time into your CET examination. In CET, you don't have to memorize, right? You have to know the concepts, right? So for 12th standard, you have to know your chapters. You have to know what you know. You have to decide what you should not know and you should be ready to omit certain things based on the marking scheme. And pick out 
10 question papers. That's it. 10 question papers for 12th standard, which is a combined papers of your past and mock, right? Take out these 10 question papers and focus only on these 10 question papers. So do it maybe over and over again, revise it over and over again, because in 12th standard, you are very sure, right? In theory paper, you're very sure key repeated questions are minimum 30%, minimum, and to a maximum of at least 60%. So if you're studying 10 question papers, and if you're ensuring that these 10 question papers do not have repeated questions amongst themselves, you have basically covered 75 to 85% of your whole curriculum of NCRT textbook. Now, in Every way read the NCRT textbook because your your CET is also going to have a lot of data, a lot of MCQs which is coming from your NCRT textbook. Once you have conquered that confidence of how to get an 80 percentage that is 80 out of 100 in your 11th and 12th standard now quickly shift your focus from your theory papers into mcq papers now the biggest trick that you should be doing is no matter what you should balance this now what is a balance a balance is you should be able to do 100 mcqs per subject per day so physics 100 chemistry 100 biology 100 if you are a neat student Physics 100, Chemistry 100, Maths 100 if you are a JEE student. So no matter what, there shouldn't be a single day that goes from your life where you've not done 300 MCQs because this is the only way you can be sure that you are getting some great score in your CET. So to succeed in the theory paper, what do you need to do? You need to know the textual questions and the in-text questions. That is it. If you just know the textual questions and the in-text questions, and if you know the basic headings of the whole syllabus, of the whole chapter, you are easy peasy to get like an 80 percentage because most of the times, all this only combines and come. Still, if you're looking furthermore, you can look at MCQs. Now, there are two types of books that you should refer for MCQs. One is an entry level and the other is the pro. Entry level like a Target or a Marvel kind of a book and the pro book, something like a USS. That's it. Okay, that's it. So remember, it's not about solving one lakh MCQs. You're getting it. It's not about quantity it's about quality what if you are solving a thousand questions of one type that is useless you should be able to get the questions which is having a shuffled variation of all the topics or maybe maybe the best mcq book is that which can give you 200 questions but covers the entire syllabus in every possible way get a good handle of all the past papers which has come be it associated examinations be it some college mcq papers be it uh, the past iit papers be it the past je papers or your state cet papers get a grip of all these question papers go through these question papers calibrate them into the chapter so look at a question and say okay this question has come from first chapter physics this question has come from third chapter chemistry this question has come you know group it into chapter wise so now when you study the subject now when you study physics and that particular chapter you have all the mcqs which has come from that chapter in all the years in all possible examination if you can get a handle of this this will save you big time because you know what is happening as you are studying the chapter you are also revising every possible question that has come in every possible examination in the last 10 years so when you start your career remember direction is more important than speed once you come in the right direction then you accelerate your speed you know some people go full speed full throttle in the month of april may june in their 12th standard and then they realize that Arya, we've done too many things but it was in the wrong direction we've done too many mcqs but they were very average questions we spent and invested too much time in classroom coaching etc so you have to get your direction right you have to get your purpose right once you get your direction right then you work on your speed and then you kill it you just go ahead full full speed and you kill it so here i have drawn your entire timeline from june that's the time when your 11 standard starts and it goes till here here your 11 standard ends right here your 11 standard ends and here your 11 standard starts and over here, your 12th standard starts. I'm talking of your college timeline, okay? Your 12th standard starts here and your 12th standard officially ends here. And uh, this is the time when you focus only on your CET. Now, what happens in generally and what is that we expect you to do? We expect you to start studying right with a big bang in the month of June itself. June, July and August is good amount of time to complete your entire 11th standard syllabus. October and November, you should focus on the 11th standard MCQs in every way. That means in this much period of time, 
no matter who you are you should finish 11th standard with a minimum 80 percentage in your theory paper and you should finish your 11th standard with with easy peasy with every possible mcqs now when i speak of this i'm speaking of both the levels okay i'm talking of the entry level questions which you can take from target or marvel um and i am talking about the next level which is uss kind of books right to ye aapka ho jana chahiye itne time mein this has to has to get over now throughout this period i say this is going to be a relaxed zone because here you are not being very aggressive this is where you will have to be very aggressive double aggressive from here now whichever class you go to whichever tuitions you go to whichever wherever you go to remember you should be able to start 12th standard in december december jan feb march april may june july this yahan tak july may be maximum august this is the period when you should finish your 12th standard theory your 12th standard theory should be completed over here in every way and during this period of time you should be doing 100 mcqs you should be doing 100 mcqs per subject and per day you should be doing this each and every day 100 mcqs per subject this is the period you should do now from here once you are ready with it you can take a pause you can take a break from the 12th standard and from this point till this particular november end you can focus only on your mcqs and that to big time this is the time you will focus on your mcq and you will focus on it big time completely in every way december you switch back to your 12th standard you pick up the past question papers and you start solving these question papers you know i told you uh, you will pick up 10 question papers that's it pick up 10 question papers do it over and over and over again so here in december and jan you will take a break from your cet comparative little break in feb you will go and give your board examination over here your life's second board examination is what you give here march april and may what are you going to do here these 60 odd days you are going to dig in you dig into every question paper which has officially occurred be it the past ai triple e examination be it the iit examinations whatever question papers you get whatever examinations you get state level every state level dig karo and get deeper into it and take those questions and solve it here you are not studying here you are only only solving so this is how your entire timeline kind of looks like so i wish you good luck and i wish you all the very best for whatever you have to do and how much ever you are doing good luck so i hope this is clear now that for 12th you're going to focus on your textbook and you're going to do past question papers and you're going to write 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 that and get it right and get it right till you get whatever is your desired percentage whether it's 70 whether it's 80 whether it's 90 do not overdo it and for cet for your entrance examination you're going to do the right questions so do not do 100 questions at the same time you know so 100 uh, questions at the same time so do the questions which matters the most which comes most and the right qualitative questions and make sure that you work with speed approximation and time uh, this is what i had to share with you in this video i hope you subscribe to this channel if you like what you heard it's it's it will be nice if you share it so that this could help more people i would like to come to you and talk to you more about what are the other concerns that troubles you in your academic life and career write to me here in the comment section and tell me what are the other topics you would want me to talk on in the videos that we come ahead what are the particular concepts that you want us to talk on so let's say you feel isomerism is difficult so i'm going to give you a whole video on isomerism if you come and tell me that sp3 hybridization or damn the entire hybridization is difficult write to me we will come out with an entire video in which we will explain hybridization or whatever you know homologous series or catenation if you are in 11th standard or in 10th standard so let us know what is difficult we are committed to come into your convenient zone into your comfort area and to give you that which you want all this available practically at no cost good luck for your life for your career and for everything that you dream for do not compromise anything and do not work too hard work smart on your life goals work smart and damn compromise nothing on that clear do not compromise anything on it